Hey my scrappy friends, welcome to my channel. I have a layout that I am making for shimmers and I am using their May Missy Widen color kit. So if you didn't know, uh, shimmers makes color kits each month. They usually do two and one of them is the Missy Widen inspired one and there is a cut file that is with it and um, different colors. And so this one is really fun. I'm also going to be adding some dazzlers. So I'm using foiled again and spun sugar. So spun sugar is now kind of taking over um, salt to the earth, I believe, is the color that it used to be. Um, they're not quite the same color, but they're really similar. So Spun Sugar is like a white color and then Foiled Again is like a gray silver color. They both are super fun and pretty and I'm doing these stars. So. <laughs> um, I wanted to go from like a white to a gray and so I'm gonna mix some of the white into the gray too a little bit as I lay it down. Um, this would have been much easier if I had a full stencil, but I didn't. So that's okay. You make it work, right? Uh, one thing I will say that when you are trying to do a full layout with a smaller stencil like this, just make sure you kind of get into some of the corners and stuff. Uh, as you can see, I'm trying to fill in a little bit of the spaces and I don't fill in every single one in the box and I feel like that helps it not look so boxy just all together. Um, and in the end, this is just part of the background, so I'm going to be covering it up. So I'm also taking the sprays and the sprays for this kit are uh, a Vibes and a Spritz. And they just have a different amount of like shimmer to them. And the Vibes is Rip Van Periwinkle. And then there's the Spritz is Granny Gray. They both are really pretty colors. And then I'm just going to take uh, my package and do the smushing technique, which I don't do very often. <laughs> I generally don't like it when I do it, but it turned out really amazing on here. Um, and I made sure that I did both colors and I used my heat gun, which I didn't show so much. So... I'm using a lot of Hip Kit's May Kit, but I'm, and some other stuff. As you can see, I have this paper from Pretty Little Studio, and that was in the Click Kit store too, but um, I'm also going to be using some stuff from my stash too. So <laughs> I really like when I get to do layouts like this, when I compare different uh, collections together and make them feel like they're one collection and which is just I find really fun I like to use collections together but it is really nice to kind of not have to just use like a kit or just one kit or one collection sometimes so um, but I liked that tag from the All Heart collection that says hey you <laughs> so this is a picture of a homemade um, latte so this winter we've stepped up our latte game and we've done a lot more homemade lattes last year we bought this really nice coffee maker that has the coffee like a regular drip coffee but then you also can do espresso drinks and lattes and stuff so um this year we've been kind of trying to do that more and it's just really nice and fun and it was this was when it was snowy in the winter time so it was just really nice now does this drink have anything to do with stars no but who really cares right so this is the fun part about uh doing stuff like that so i'm also just taking some bits and pieces from my desk and from uh, like I said, my stash and stuff like that and just kind of adding. I'm really just trying to layer uh, with my photo. And this photo was a little bit darker, so that's why you can't see that much. But that's okay because it doesn't need to be a super light. Sometimes I like that when your photo is a little bit darker and it almost looks black and white with a little bit of a color. Um, and so I printed it off like that on purpose. So... Uh, I find that a lot of times it's really fun to play around with that. And I really thought that that cup 
color match to the colors that I used on my background and with the May kit the May Missy Wooden color kit is just super fun so and then at the end uh, and you're not going to see that part but at the very very end I do do some splatters with um, the pots so that came with the kit and there is a creamies I believe it's a creamies and then there's just a shimmer no, it's an inkling, so it's coral, coral reef. And so that's going to kind of tie into that that creamy peachy color. Um, it's not quite the same, but... So at this point, I'm trying to figure out, do I want to put my media piece on a uh, back it? How do I want to do this? What other papers do I want to use? And just kind of really tightening up my layers a little bit. So I'm gonna cut apart some of these cut aparts from, I think that's from Aggie Holmes, Willow Lane. I have a little bit of that. I really liked that piece that says happy little moment and or moments. And so I'm gonna add that too. And I'm gonna layer some stuff behind that too. But um, just kind of tightening up these. <clears throat> at first I wasn't sure if I was going to put that piece behind there like that and then I switched it back. <laughs> um, I thought about like having it go off the edge a little bit more but I didn't like it like that so I'm trying to figure out how to use that that paper and with the musical notes I really like it but it's kind of hard to get it to fit perfectly so so you could actually see it. That's the only thing about using papers that have a design that you kind of want to see on there, <laughs> right? But, so I am deciding I'm going to use that um, Willow Lane paper too to, um, to mat it on. It's really similar colors to um, the purples in this kit. So I just used glue around that inside I decided to cut the inside out so that I could use some of it if I wanted to layer with it and then I sewed with gray thread I finally have thread again yay I ran out of thread and you know that's one of those things that I don't always think to go down that aisle at the store but I finally made myself do it so now I'm just doing these finishing touches I'm going to add a couple of layers to this back and use some blue staples because who doesn't love mini staples? Now, uh, I know that there's been like this big debate lately. I've seen some people post more about like flare badges. And so um, just know whenever you use any kind of metal product, there is a chance that one day <laughs> it will discolor something. <laughs> um, anything metal on a layout will eventually you're gonna notice it. Um, but here's my thoughts behind this, and this is my thoughts. So please, if you like to do something else, go right ahead and do it. Um, these layouts probably won't last forever, right? Um, I'm not figuring that this is gonna be a piece of history <laughs> that will last hundreds of years. So, I mean, if it does, that's great. Um, but I think it'll add to that uh, antique feeling <laughs> if at all it gets <laughs> rusted. So it doesn't really bother me too much. I think I'm more um, worried about like things like thickers staying on and that kind of thing. So also in the store are these little dots and they are super, super cute guys. Um, and I decided to not use the dots that came with the kit. There are dots that come with the kit. They were more florally and did not go with my layout. So I use these ones. They're different colored uh, colors. So there's some blue and purple in, in the dot. Um, and I added that. And then up at the top, I took that circle thing off of a Rosie Studio. I think that was from where it was from. Um, and I took the flag off because it was, I didn't like the flag on there. It didn't work, but I liked the circle element. So I had the two circles on both sides. So here you're seeing all these close-ups. If you happen to head over to the Shimmer store, make sure, and you buy something, make sure that in the comments you mention me because you can get a free uh, item 
Shimmers will send you something for free. And I mean, they, it's just really fun to um, let them know who's sending you over to the store and definitely check out these color kits. They are super fun. I know the June one is just getting released. So super, super fun. And there's also some stuff, other cool new stuff in the store. So I hope you guys check it out and I will see you guys later. Bye.